Hi, Jolta from Unisport Web TV, where today I'm looking into two pairs of shoes from the Nike FC247 collection. The Lunagato 2s for street and concrete and the Bomba Finale 2s for turf and artificial grass. We'll get into the Bomba Finales in just a few minutes, but first, it's time to own the street. And it goes a little something like this. The Nike Lunagato 2 is a nice combination of modern technology and rather interesting materials. The most interesting one being the gold leather on the inside of the foot and on the medial front foot. The gold leather gives the shoe a lot of comfort and softness and it wraps around your foot really nicely. On the toe area we find this sandpaper-like design which not only gives you a lot of grip but also protects your foot when you strike the ball on these hard concrete cords. On the outside of the foot, we find the hyperfused mesh panels, which are there to provide air ventilation to your feet and maximize the lateral supports, which you need when you make those fast turns. It definitely gives you a great lockdown effect without being overly tight or restrictive. Overall, the Lunagato 2 is a true pleasure to play with. In my opinion, mostly because of the gold leather. It's really supple and adapts to your foot like this. Also, the materials are not too thick at all, so you definitely maintain a nice and soft touch to the ball, which, in my opinion, is extremely important in small-sided football. When you play on concrete or other street courts, you must have a shoe with a comfortable outsole. This is where Nike have stepped up with the Lunalan cushioning that goes all the way from the heel to the midsection of the outsole. It really gives you a nice shock absorption and provides really, really great traction so you don't fall on the concrete, which most people don't want to happen. The entire outsole is also made of non-marking materials, so if you want to use the Lunagatos indoors, you can definitely do that. Overall, I just can't find anything bad to say about these shoes. It has the stability, traction and the nice touch to the ball and in my books, that's all that matters. But now it's time to leave the streets and move over to the turf. Hey, Turf Jolter! Yo! Thanks Street Jolter! The Bomba Finale 2 from the FC247 collection is specifically designed for turf play. Starting off with the upper, this shoe features the Nike skin on the front foot area. It's a really thin and super grippy material, but it doesn't stretch as much as the Nike skin we know from the Hyper Venom boots. In fact, the fit on the front foot is really, really tight. You don't have a lot of space to move around in these boots. It also takes quite some time to break these boots in, but if you prefer a tight fitting, close to the ball feeling boots, you will definitely be happy with the Bomba Finales. Also, on the toe area, we can find the similar type of sandpaper design as the Lunagatos have. It gives you additional grip, durability, and as the Bomba Finale is also equipped with the all conditions control technology, you should have all the tools for great ball control. Moving on to the traction and the outsole. The Bomba Finale combines conical studs for better rotation and bladed studs for improved overall traction. But as we can clearly see, the studs are not that long, so it doesn't offer you the optimal traction if you play on new generation artificial grasses that are lengthwise kind of similar to natural grass. When we talk about stability and support, 
Nike have done a brilliant job by adding these support bands inside the boots and they really give you a nice and secure fit when you're moving around on the pitch. Also, the durability. After over four months of using these, they just simply don't show any signs of use whatsoever. Well, despite being a little dirty, but that's just the way it goes. And you know me, I don't even care about looks that much. Hey, Jolter, you know your hair is kind of messed up, right? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, all right, let's just cut this. No, 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 we, we need to get another take. Anyways, back to reality. Overall, the Bomba Finale 2 is not the most comfortable boot I've ever played with, but still, I definitely enjoy wearing them because I'm the type of guy who prefers playing with the really tight-fitting boots, and that's exactly what the Bomba Finale can offer to you. All in all, both the Lunagato 2s and the Bomba Finale 2s are definitely doing their own job in their own territories. And even though there are some similarities in the way they've been designed, the overall feeling and fit is still really different on each of these bad boys. For me, the Lunagato 2 is today's winner, mostly because you can use them both indoors and on the streets. And with those wise words, it's time to end today's review, but I'm still trying to figure out where you prefer playing football. On the streets or on the pitch? Whatever your answer might be, leave your comments down there to the comment section below. And while you are writing your comments, I'm gonna head back to the streets with my Lunagato tubes. See you later on here on Unisport Web TV. Jolter is out. This is where Nike have stepped up with the Lunalan cushion. <laughs> this is where Nike have stepped up with the Lunalan. <laughs> I got that on tape. <laughs> That's going on. Oh. Game super. And that's it for today. <laughs>